Well, I thought it's uh, well, was a uh, a good basketball night. We just uh, got to a bad start. You know, it was like the first time we played them the second time a few weeks ago. Just got to a bad start. And, you know, then from there, you know, we played pretty well. Just, uh, you know, we made some bad decisions early and took some bad shots. And it led to uh, kind of some weak outs. And, uh, and the kids fought back to try to get it, you know, to try to win the game. But to uh, start killing us. Go ahead, let's open it up to questions. Hey, Coach, Terry Vandewick, the Argus here in Mr. Falls. Um, you just, uh, your take on, on the matchup tomorrow? I mean, can, can somebody be, can, can that team be up open? Oh, they, 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 you guys seem to have the secret to doing that. Yeah, I, I think that uh, they can. I mean, uh, one of the things that helps with Roberts is that uh, they, they want a lot of games in the world. They're playing a lot of confidence right now. So, uh, you know, that'll help them. I think the match will help with, um, I thought Oakland played probably the best game of the year today, to be honest with you. Even from the Tennessee and all when I thought today they played their best game. You know, sometimes you worry can you put another game like that back to back. So um, it'll be a very, very good game. Um, you know, overall we'll have a chance to win at their place and it'll be a good matchup. Once again, you're in this room sitting at you know on the verge of 20 wins. Do you think a team other than the one that wins tomorrow gets a call from anybody in terms of extending the season? I don't know. Um, you know, that's. Uh, one of the things that uh, I uh, I stopped trying to predict because I think that you know outside the NCAA tournament everything else is absolutely so political that you know um, that's something that I think that our conference has to really work on and we've got to do a better job with our RPI and I think we've done that uh, we were fortunate last year but uh, you just never know I think that uh, you know some teams had a good year that we did and, you know we're having a good year but uh, you know it's, uh, there's a lot to go into more than just that. Last thing, could you talk, just talk about uh, Alex's year and certainly he's got a lot of NBA attention already. And, and is he at the point where he's going to consider his options, or is he definitely coming back for his, for his last year? Well, he has to consider his options, you know. Um, but it, just like anything, you got to have options, you know. And so, um, you know, it's, it's a little different because the, the window's shorter. You know, George Hills was, was in the same situation, but you know, so George can go work out for teams, and he can go to Orlando. Well, they don't have those things anymore, you know. I think they're probably right about the same place in regards to interest of teams. But when we came out of the conference tournament with George, um, there was, you know, we, he wasn't going to get drafted. We helped George as he was able to spend about a month with the teams and work it out. Um, you know, now they don't have it, but, you know, right after final four, kids have to make a decision. And so uh, it, you know, he'll have to waste some options and say, we'll, we'll get a couple of days and we'll sit up and talk and see what happens. But uh, um, of course, we'd love for him to come back. But if he's a top 30 pick, I'm um, Anything else? Okay, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.